All right, starting off first with a pretty major type of error. Of course, you don't need a coin microscope or need to inspect this coin closely because it's clearly a very obvious type of error. It's a double strike uh, with that double strike being 60% off center on this 1959 silver Washington quarter. Now, this coin here sold for over $2,800 as a result of that mint error. And of course, the condition, $2,800. Can't beat that. Now here is a 1959 Lincoln cent. Now this coin has been double struck and rotated in color. So you'll see that design actually double struck and rotated around. You'll actually see the 1959 date over here as well on the left side of the coin overlapping uh, Liberty almost. And then you can see the whole outline of Lincoln there and the rest of the design of the penny that has been double struck of course. Now on the reverse we'll see that again. And because of that, this coin sold for over $575. Now again, condition always Always matters grade always matters so the higher the grade typically the more money the coin is going to sell for in a lot of cases so mint state 62 grade by NGC here almost $600 for a Lincoln penny moving on to a 1959 Roosevelt dime these are 90% silver all the dimes and quarters from 1964 or prior for US coins are going to be 90% silver now this was struck on a defective planchet. We can see that there on the left side of the coin. And then here is the reverse of this Roosevelt dime as well. This coin here sold for over $260. Moving right along to another defective planchet. However, this is taking place on the 1959 Lincoln cent. And this coin sold for over $290, nearly a $300 penny. It is graded by NGC at a mint state 66 red. It only weighs 2.7 grams as a result of that mint error. So there is another defective planchet. Now here is a 1959 Lincoln penny that was struck 10% off center. You can look for off centers on all kinds of different coins, not just pennies, of course. Some can be way more off center than this. Some could be even less off center than this. It is graded by PCGS at a mint state 65 red. And this penny here sold for around $130. Not too bad. Let's move on here to a 1959 Jefferson nickel. Now what makes this nickel valuable is that the coin was actually struck on a one cent planchet. So the planchet is going to be the round metal piece that the coin design gets struck onto in order to become the coin. This was not struck on a Jefferson nickel planchet. It was struck on a penny planchet, one cent planchet. And that's why the coin sold for over $1,000. Now here is a 1959 Washington quarter. Of course, these are supposed to be silver quarters like what we looked at earlier. Uh, however, this was actually struck on a one cent planchet as well. So we had a nickel on a penny planchet. Now we're having a Washington quarter struck onto a penny planchet. And that's why this coin sold for over $1,100. Can't beat that over $1,000 for a Washington quarter. Now here is a really interesting coin. This is a 1959, what was supposed to be a Lincoln cent that was actually struck onto a 10 cent planchet. So a Roosevelt dime planchet. Uh, and of course, those are going to be silver planchets uh, from 1959 for those dimes. This coin here sold for over $220. Now, of course, you need to always weigh your coins, and if you want to get it authenticated, you can grade it through a coin grading company like uh, here is this coin's graded by NGC or PCGS or Annex. Uh, feel free to check out my coin grading video while I go more into depth on that. Now, uh, again, don't get this confused with uh, silver colored pennies that people turn into a silver colored penny through the science experiments. Uh, this is actually a genuine mint error here. Now here is a 1959 Jefferson nickel that is very, very cool because it has a staple struck into the reverse of the coin. Now how cool is that? You can see that staple there. Uh, wow, that's just amazing. Uh, stuff like this is gonna be super rare. This coin sold for over $525. And it's only graded at a very fine 30, so it's like, Wow, did this really stay out in circulation that long? Uh, that is just amazing. Uh, so not a mint state grade there. If it was, it would even sold for more money. I would say probably over a thousand maybe. Uh, that's just a guesstimate, but a very fine 30 with that staple struck in it, $525.
Here is a 1959 D mint mark Jefferson nickel. Now this coin's cool. It actually was struck through fragments. So we'll see that here on the obverse uh, going through Jefferson's hair there. And then here on the reverse, you'll also see that as well. So that is very, very cool. Uh, this coin is graded by Annex at a mint state 65. And this Jefferson nickel sold for a little over $70. So uh, not too bad for that one. Here's another strike through taking place on the 1959 quarter. Uh, we'll see that here on the obverse of the coin, the front of the coin going through Washington's head. Uh, there's all kinds of different strike throughs uh, out there. I mentioned those. If you guys haven't seen my other error coin videos, feel free to check those out. There's like struck through a cloth and all kinds of different uh, cases it could be when the coin is being produced. But this quarter here did sell for around $60. Here is a no dated, I know this is 1959 coins, but we got a couple of no dated coins here. This is the no dated Lincoln Cent. I love these uh, die caps, capped die coins, struck through a cap die here. We'll see on the reverse, it looks pretty normal, but you'll see that struck through a cap die here on the obverse of this Lincoln Cent. And that's why this penny sold for around $90. And it is graded by PCGS at a mint state 63. Of course, coin grading scale goes up to 70, 70 being the best. So let's move on to this next no data coin. Now I was actually talking about being struck through a cloth. Here is that coin or one of these coins. There's uh, various different coins out there uh, that has had this happen. Now it's a no data Lincoln scent where the obverse has been struck through the cloth. Like we said, it is graded by NGC at a mint state 66 red. So we'll see the design, the texture design of the cloth here uh, going through the obverse of this penny, the front of the Lincoln scent. And then here on the back, uh, looks pretty normal, just like any old penny would. Uh, doesn't look uh, really too much different than any old penny. Uh, but this coin did sell for over $340. So you can't beat that. Always be on the lookout for interesting types of errors like these when you're going to the bank and getting coin rolls from the bank. Some of them, uh, like the first coin, not going to fit in a coin roll. Uh, but some of these double strikes and stuff rotated in collar and, and strike throughs and stuff. Always be on the lookout for stuff like that. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Caps Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.